Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders at GMS to rule well, peace and blessings to the Akim that's out there fighting, doing his work with truth and sincerity. Brother Bonson Pod, back at you again with another lesson, the Lord willing. This is edifying to the elect men out there that are listening and watching these videos. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm listening to, I just got finished listening to uh, Elder Apostle Tahar's video about, um, I forget what he entitled it, about coming out with more news articles, Lord willing. And he was talking about, he had mentioned that... Um, this place is called Babylon, and the Hebrew is pronounced Babal, and the Greek is Babylon. And the doctors here are saying that the ventilators are good, and they, you know, then one minute they say the ventilators now, or they're saying now that the ventilators are making the con making the conditions worse on the people, man. And you know, you look up the word Babal or Babylon; it means a city of confusion, and this is a city of confusion, man. And then I was just think the spirit had me just thinking about that. Like your whole time existing on this planet. From your birth up until you're an adult. This place has sown nothing but wickedness in it. Now, when you go into scriptures, like what I'm about to what the spirit got me going into, it speaks about a word in uh Ezra chapter 34 about a the word called Basra. And I think Basra is in modern day, uh, or is modern day Jordan. So it said Basra was the capital of the, was the capital city of the Edomites. Hmm. Once they settled from the nomadic lifestyle, it is located in modern day Jordan along the King's Highway. So looking at what's going on with this COVID-19 and how much wickedness, and that's only if you spiritual, you paying attention to the history of the wickedness that has been Perpetual going perpetual in this place since you came to an understanding, man. So if you look at this spiritual and, and realize it, look, Yahweh Bashim Abashah like burnt sacrifices, right? So this the habitation now of the world have you, because the earth is gonna be here forever. Parts of it is gonna be in it's gonna be uh gonna be done away with, man. So spiritually, this place of the world is a big place it's a big altar because when you have an altar what are you doing you're sacrificing to the lord man you're sacrificing to yahweh about your mouth shot so this place is an altar basically a big burnt sacrifice man and the people who playing with the scriptures this country has taken the scriptures you have a group of people that say they found this place on Christian values and things of that nature. But if you look at it at the scheme of things, man, nothing here is righteous, man. So the Mosai, Yahweh Vashim Abashah, is mad, man. So I just want to set that up. Now I'm getting to some scriptures. And it means to, you know, nomadic uh, means like living the lifestyle of a nomad, like you a wanderer. Did not the scripture say that he don't keep it at home? You see what I'm saying? So Isaiah 34 and 5 said, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Of course, you don't have a, a katana that big that you can swing it and it can cut through the whole world. No, it's not, it's not talking about a sword like a katana sword, man. This is talking about something, an instrument that can go from one place to another, man. And it's the Lord indignation. Because we coming into third world's war, Armageddon, man. This like a lot of people is is waking up to the to the Bible, and knowing that what's going on now is biblical. A lot of Jake waking up to the fact that the the RFID is the mark of the beast, and I go take it. They've been watching it in movies, things of that nature. From another video, I will listen to Elder Pastor Hart today, and I need to finish it. I'm I'm all, I'm, I'm half I'm well over half of watching it. Uh, he had Willie D on the screen. Willie had Willie D one day. Uh, Texas rappers back in the day with the Ghetto Boys, you know, he was read Apostle Tahar was reading a lot of comments off that, off his. So a lot of people on his comment board know about that, like the thing that's happening is like biblical proportions, man. 
So some Jake is aware, you know, because a lot of Jake watches shows. So it said, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. It shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia is Edom. Okay. Now let's go to Deuteronomy real quick. 34. Uh, oh my goodness. 34 and 41. So like it. Deuteronomy 34. I didn't get it right. Wait a minute. 32. So like it. 32 and 41. All right. He says, if I wet my glittering sword, my hand take hold, my hand take hold on judgment. You see, this is judgment coming from Yahweh Bashimam Shah. This will be a big burnt sacrifice. So all the people that's on this side who don't know who they are, according to the scriptures, your whole existence was to be a sacrifice to the Lord. And a lot of people be like, the Bible doesn't say things like that. You're just making something up. This is scriptural, man. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Abishai have to sup with you and be with you to be able to see these things. Because the scriptures say in Luke, some men shall desire and hear these things that ye see and hear. But the Lord not going to give you that understanding, man. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward and and will reward them that hate me. If you hate Yahweh Bashim Abishai, he's gonna reward you and turn you into a sacrifice, man. Period point blank. If you're not coming back to the laws, statutes, and commandments, coming back to those names, Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, coming back to whatever your respectable tribe is as an Israelite, and you doing what you're supposed to do, bro, to try to make it up out of this place. You're not going to make it. And you have to be part of the elect, man. 144,000, one third, and then multitude, man. That's the only way you're going to escape being a sacrifice on the Lord altar, man. Now, spiritually, we're doing it according to the book of Romans for the people, for the men out there that's teaching, present your body as a living sacrifice. So this place is an altar, man. This is a big spiritual altar. This is a big altar. Spiritually and physically, it's going to go down, man. How he was sacrificed on his altar, man. Talking about Yahweh, about your mouth shut. Um, and for them that hate me, man. So this so-called Jesus mess, this, this religion of a cesspool that people take to themselves and think their God is their God. Nothing that they believe can tell you about prophecy. No book that they have with their name or their God in it. Doesn't speak about things like this, but the Holy Scriptures do. This is the power of Abraham. This is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that the whole world, or if not all of America, know about. They exist, and it's about to go down, man. What you're seeing is biblically. It's biblical. So like it. You see? This is what you see. This is what you're starting to see, man. Nothing else is going on but biblical prophecy. Now, to go back over here, I don't want to make this... Got a few precepts. I don't want to make this too long. It's whatever the Lord, uh, the Spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, about your mama, so, um, so, Hey, say my program. Isaiah thirty-four and five. For the sword, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Adumia. I just read that in Deuteronomy uh, thirty-two and forty-one. Right, Adumia, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. This is the people. This is the curse. You see, Idumia, it says, it's going to say Edom. Edom, red, Idumia, descendants of Esau. You know, and people who watch videos know who he is. You see, like the true biblical, because you can have Edomites, and they those Edomites can be Israelites. He specified the fact that Edom, and the reapers know who Edom is. Or who are the Edomites? Because they mingle seed with, you know, with the Israelites, man. And so if you look at how this place is being ran, ran, the scriptures say the earth shall be given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Then you will see that this is Rome all over again. You see? 
And the same things that was happening is happening today. There's nothing new under the sun that the Bible prescribes, man. Verse six, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. And the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra. Basra was the capital city of the Edomites. Who is running this world today? The scriptures say the earth is given to the hands of the wicked in the book of Job chapter 9 and 24, man. Just look around you and open your eyes and see. And if you don't see it, it's not meant for you to get it. And then maybe it's not meant for you to get at the moment. But those who get it and see it spiritually, you know the end is here, man. And Yahweh Bashamah Shah is raised up, meaning he's aroused up because of the wickedness that has reached up into the heavens. He has to come out his holy place to do a sacrifice and start over again and to get the elect of his people, man, to bring to usher in the kingdom, man. It's a great slaughter in, uh, uh, in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Once again, Edom. E. You see? Now let's go to Isaiah. 66, because this is nothing but an altar for a burnt sacrifice until Yahweh Bashem Abishai, man. And this is for the salvation of his people, the elect of his people also, those who get right, man. Isaiah 66 and 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, even me. We're not exempt from this, man. And that's why we pray to Yahweh Bashem Abishai and do what we need to do and hope and pray that we part of that, what? 144,000, one third of the multitude, man. That go be delivered from the coming destruction of his wrath, man. There's no way to slice it, no way to spin it, no way to turn it. It's just biblical, man. It's just biblical at the end of the day. Y'all been having these books in your homes and claiming you holier than thou and paying hella tights to the preacher and I ain't, I ain't learning nothing, man. People won't answer this, man. The Bible says, I heard the Bible says went up, had went through the roof. It will keep going up. You, if you ain't got a Bible by now, by now, hell, you probably can't even find one. Because somebody, people know in their spirit that something ain't right and they want to read and get understanding, man. Well, the men of the Lord got understanding to share with you and to tell you these things, man. He said, in the and plead with all flesh in this. And the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how many turkeys you bought for people. I don't care if you do church drives. I don't care if you feed the homeless. I don't care. Well, it don't even matter if uh, you have a car wash and you give a free car washes or whatever. It don't. Listen, man. The scriptures say every knee shall bow and all shall see his son, man. And people don't want you to teach in this thing because, you know, it makes sense. This is your rulership. So, of course, you don't want anything else to come to, you know, interrupt what you want to do. Of course not. We get it. It's bigger than us, man. This is a spirit. This is it's bigger than us. It's the Heavenly Father who in the world been calling God ignorantly. His name is Yahweh. And the, and the world been saying so-called Jesus Christ ignorantly. His name is Yahweh. Shai. And the angels, man, they are coming back. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's like. It's, it's biblical, man. He's going to plead with all flesh. It don't matter what you did. All you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know what I'm saying, out there doing all kind of BS, and you BSing still, he go, look, he said, plead with all flesh, A-L-L, -L, all. This is Zephaniah. Um... Yeah, Zephaniah 1 to 7. And you can say something if you want to. But then what do he, people can, uh, you know, rebuttal and come against what the prophets are saying. Lord willing, I'm one of them. You no know, beginning with the apostles and the elders in the middle down. You can rebuttal. But what the but what the scriptures say, Zephaniah 1 to 7, hold thy peace. Why? Because Yahweh by Shema is speaking, man. He is speaking. It's time for everybody to shut the hell up and listen. And whatever your faith is, accept it.
because you're going to have the choice. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord. When you see those men out there, beginning with the apostles and the elders on down, you in the presence of the Lord, man. He don't have to come down here and show you like, look, I'm, look, I'm him that they're talking about. So you need to get right and you get right. No, man. It's very spiritual how he set it up. And if you don't get it, he don't want you. He, he can wake you up at the last minute. But if he don't want you, he don't want you, man. And hell, we praying, hoping and fasting, doing what we need to do and pray that we keep doing what we're doing, that we part of hopefully elect, man. Because we know how serious this is. This is not a game. This ain't nothing to play with. This ain't nothing to, you know, how you play hot potato, whatever, hot potato hot, and you going back and forth, you're playing with it, or you straddling the fence. This ain't got nothing to do with that, man. And this ain't got nothing to do with you, man. Hold that peace at the presence of the Lord, the most of the Lord power for the day of the Lord is at hand for the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice. He had, he hath bid his guest. He invited his guest to come to the sacrifice. And, 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 <laughs> and what the scriptures say, woe unto you that desire what the day of the Lord, man, you people don't boy. That's, that's heavy, man. That's heavy. And, I, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes of the and the king's children and all such are clothed with the stranger apparel, man, that our people put on wearing Levi's and shit and, and putting on, you know, worshiping other gods, man. Yo, yeah, how about your mom? I'm sick of that, man. You see what I'm saying? He said, hold our peace. There's nothing you can say. You've been warned. You come back, you repent. You, you know, you repent. And, and, and be for real with it, man. You should be ashamed of the wickedness that you've done, man. Talking about everybody on this planet and talking about especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Listen, man, y'all can't say nothing because in Zechariah 2 and 13, he said what? Be silent. Oh, all flesh before the Lord, for he is raised up. He is aroused out of his holy habitation because of the sins and the abominations and the and the continual disrespect of the names and the folliness that's going on and, and whatever you can think of, he is aroused up and he's about to make a move, man. And I'm gonna end it on that. This 17 minutes probably get two views. Spirit got me going, you know. But hey, whoever's for, hey, it's the spirit and power of you. How about your mama shy? Um uh, Isaiah 13 and 6 How old ye for the day of the Lord is at hand It shall come as a destruction From who? The almighty It ain't talking about me I'm not the almighty Hell I can't <laughs> Shit I can't live for a furniture you know? <laughs> So how am I the almighty And I can't even You know what I'm saying Come on man Buy a house or something It is frivolous I'm just saying You're supposed to be almighty You're supposed to do all things So this is coming from your How about your mom Shot saying coming from man it's coming from men via um, giving you a message. What they say, don't kill the messenger, you know. So this place, as you said, 5G, man, yo, come on, man. If you don't see, that's your fault, man. This place is an altar for a burnt sacrifice of your how about your mama shot, man. With that, hope it was edifying until the next time. Well, verse 7, therefore shall all hands be faint in every man's Heart, meaning mind, shall melt, man. Because when you see, the, Lord, have mercy on me. Oh, boy, have mercy on us. When you, hey, man, just like, like my grandmother used to say when I was a kid, just keep living, man. As you keep living, you go see, and you go know that prophets has been among you. Hey, with that, hope that was edifying. Until the next time, I shall say, shalom.